What is Impressionism? Monet, Manet, Degas, and Cassatt. These are names of famous artists who employ the impressionistic style of painting. Their names are etched into art history because this style differed from its predecessors. We'll dive into that in this video. Welcome to Acrylic Arts Academy, we teach the world to paint. Stylistic changes in the art world were not often understood or accepted at the time, and the Impressionist style was no exception. These artists and more from art history were trailblazers. In the late 19th century, the Impressionist painting style was born in Paris. Their contributions have lasted throughout history and sent a ripple through the art world. Artists from France at this time were at the mercy of being accepted by the Académie des Beaux-Arts, a strict art institution with little wiggle room for artistic flair. The artists submitted their work to the Academy, and a panel of jurors would accept or reject the artwork for upcoming world-renowned art shows. The preferred style of the time was mainly realism, and this looming body of academic jurors was resistant to change. This group of jurors were so strict they limited the acceptable subject matter to a narrow field. Only historical or religious artworks were welcomed, though they also accepted portraiture. The Academy even refused landscapes and still life paintings as they didn't fit into their classic French art paradigm. The Academy's goal at that time was to maintain the current French style of painting and the realism methodology within the accepted subject matter. Without the support and acceptance of the Academy, artists' chances of success in France and beyond were greatly diminished. With their help, they'd see monetary gain and more work in their future commissions. This platform was an exceedingly important way to gain success and notoriety. Impressionist art making is known now for its pastel colors, dabbles of color, and distinct addition of slight details. These artists rewrote the painting playbook and implied movement through mark making. They focused on portraying changes in sunlight and activity, though not all Impressionist painters of the time agreed on their methods. Most artists mixed color on the canvas using small brush strokes of varying pigments, which blended on impact. Today, we use this methodology in acrylic painting when working wet on wet with an alla prima styling. This method wasn't widely known or used before this time, though it's a common practice in modern times. To create the pastel hues and overall palette for work in this impressionist style, artists coated the canvas first with a light color such as white. The pigments would mix on impact when working on a lightly toned canvas, creating lighter pastel shades. Though it wasn't likely a new practice at the time, artists were utilizing painting on plein air, which means they painted outdoors. As the day's lighting changed, these artists would reflect the power of light and shadow within their work. Natural lighting was essential to the styling. Let's take a peek at some Impressionist paintings from this era. Please note that all images shown here are in the public domain and are courtesy of the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. Painting number one is by Auguste Renoir. It's called Picking Flowers and was created in 1875. This painting portrays an excellent example of Impressionism. Pay attention to the brushstrokes. Notice how they are short and loose markings. This style alludes to the movement and the energy of life in every living thing. There is a great sense of natural light reflected upon each subject. Painting number two is by Claude Monet. It's called Woman with a Parasol, Madame Monet and Her Son, made in 1875. This painting is another prime example of the Impressionist style in action. First, take a moment to focus on the skyscape. Then, a closer look identifies the exact type of brushwork by Monet. It's unique how these wildly expressionist marks read as clouds from far away. Even the parasol detailing reveals erratic yet successful brushstrokes that read somewhat realistically from a distance. Similarly, Madame Monet's skirt looks billowing in the wind with believable detail. 
Again, zooming in allows us to realize the sporadic built-up nature of its brushwork that allows this to occur. A few wispy brush marks in white create a fleeting sense of light upon the linen of her dress. Monet was a master of this style, and this painting displays that fact well. Painting number three is by Edgar Degas, and it's called Women Viewed from Behind, Visit to a Museum. It was created in 1879. There are several features in this painting that are a nod to the Impressionist style. The painterly and loose brushstrokes imply all the trappings of a museum without any of the details. Instead, the most focused portion of this work is the female, including her features and clothing. Let's zoom in and focus on the details as we have with the other examples shown today. Can you notice the stark differences between the background's nature and the features of her face? These features are no mistake, as Degas forces the viewer to see the woman as centric as she moves about the museum. The blurry nature of the background gives us the impression she's walking as she admires the artwork within. Considering we are seeing one static image, it's incredible that Degas can force this exciting aspect of the painting. In summary, the Impressionist painting style was born in Paris during the late 19th century. The artists who practiced Impressionism included Claude Monet, Camille Pissarro, Mary Cassatt, Edward Degas, and more. This style is notable because it focuses on the movement and energy of life by portraying natural light in exciting ways. Brushwork within this style is more expressionistic and erratic, though it creates images that read realistically from a distance. We hope you learned the basics of Impressionism by watching this video today. Thanks for being here. If this video helped you learn something new, please subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and share it with a creative friend who may need it. See you next time. Begin your acrylic painting journey by visiting acrylicartsacademy.com slash free guides.